sticking with us here at Fox 55. We'd like to recognize local paramedics, firefighters, police officers, and those who are currently serving or who have served in the military. Fox 55's meteorologist Caleb Saylor has more on our hometown hero, Vietnam veteran David Dorman. I knew that I was going to be drafted, and I decided to enlist in the Marine Corps. I signed up at that time for a two-year program, two years active duty and four years inactive reserve. Dorman soon went to boot camp in San Diego, then to infantry training at Camp Pendleton, California, before being deployed to Vietnam in December of 1967. We knew we were going to Vietnam. We knew we were probably going to be in an infantry position. And uh, I did everything they wanted me to do. I tried to learn everything I could, uh, knowing that I was going to go into combat, and I wanted to improve my chances as much as possible. Dorman's job was to observe enemy activity and gather intelligence to send back to his unit at Quezon Combat Base. His service is greatly respected by many, including his daughter, Raylan. He's always been an amazing, amazing man. And um, to me, he is not only my hero, but to America, he's a lot of people's hero. David continued his deployment conducting recon patrols and working with Navy diving units. He describes his unit as cohesive, which made missions operate smoothly. We knew that we could depend on each other. Uh, we trusted each other for their lives, basically. We knew what everybody was gonna do without having to stop to think what they were going to do. David left the Marines in April of 1969 and returned to Fort Wayne to work full-time and attend school at Ivy Tech. He worked at several Fort Wayne businesses before working from home prior to retirement, where he now has time to spend with his family. I'm very proud of my father and the man that he is. For Hometown Heroes, I'm Caleb Saylor. If you would like to nominate someone as a hometown hero, you can do so under the community tab on our website, WFFT.com.